Hello everybody! Welcome back to my creative studio. Today I prepared a video guide how to crochet this wonderful X-twisted headband. The pattern is quite easy, it's not complicated and I chose knit like effect and in the middle of the band you can see the bubbles. And you know what is perfect on this pattern? You can use it on both sides, the right side up or down and it looks perfect all the time. All important information you will find in the box below this video and also the pattern is available for free at my website. I used alpaca yarn, 4mm crochet hook and a sparkling thread to make a little bit shiny effect. The pattern is 14 inch size, but it can be very easily adapted to smaller or bigger just by making the starting chain longer or shorter. So if you are interested how to crochet this wonderful headband, let's get started. I will start with a slip knot and then chain 60. Five. I would recommend you to do a measurement of your hair before you start it and crochet the number of chains until you reach the measurement taken. This pattern is for 21.2 inches, which uh, fits with uh, 65 chains. Okay, so let's continue crocheting the number of chains you need for your measurement and once you have it we will start with row number one and I will add one more chain and then place a half double crochet into the second chain from the hook so this is my second half double crochet as the first one was uh, made by chain and now I will continue crocheting one half double crochet into each stitch across into each chain across so as I started with 65 chains I will have in this row 65 half double crochets okay so let's continue crocheting till you reach the end of this chain okay one half double crochet and the half double crochet into next and repeat it once you reach that end. So now I have 65 half double crochet and first row is ready. Chain one, turn your work and place a half double crochet into the first stitch I don't count a chain as a stitch now let's look at the pattern there is a front loop a back loop and behind or under the back loop there is hidden the third loop and I will place a double crochet into that loop so the third loop is hidden under the back loop and I will put each my half double crochet into that third loop. So in the row number two I will work one half double crochet into each stitch and each half double crochet is placed into that third loop. Look at it once again behind the back loop and this method will push the front and back loop to front and to create nice knit like effect okay 
if you look at it, it's really lovely. You can see the V, which is uh, front and back loop. It's pushed to front and make a row of Vs, okay? So continue crocheting um, one half double crochet into each stitch across till you reach the end of uh, the headband. So I have the second row ready. I will chain one, turn my work and again I will place a half double crochet into the third loop. Um, now as my work is turned out the third loop is in front of um, the, the V in front of the front and back loop. I will place one half double crochet into each stitch and always it's placed into the third stitch or third loop across. So the number of the stitches is the same. We will have 65 half double crochet stitches. Okay, so one half double crochet placed into the third loop. one half double crochet into one half double crochet from the previous row. Okay, look at the pattern and if you turn out you will see this wings. They are pushed front and it will make the knit like effect. Okay? It's perfect. I really like it. Okay, I have my third row ready and it was the row of half double crochet. Okay, wonderful. Now we will do uh, the row number four and I will change a pattern. This row will be the row um, with bubbles and what is the special? I add this uh, sparkling thread. So chain three, then your work and make sure you will place the bubble into the third loop as always we do. So skip one stitch and place the bubble into the next one uh, to the third loop. So yarn over and pull yarn through, yarn over and pull yarn through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. We have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. We will have five loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. We have six loops and now we will pull yarn through all six loop on the hook and secure by chain one. Okay, the first bubble is ready. Now chain one, skip one stitch and into the next one place a bubble. Just make sure it's placed into the third loop as we always do. And again it will be a cluster of five double crochet stitches. So one, two, Three, four, and one more. Okay, five. Now yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on the hook, six loops, and chain one to secure the bubble. Okay, we have two bubbles ready and chain one 
and we will repeat the pattern till the end of this row. So skip one and place a bubble into the third loop as uh, always. So one, two, three, four, and five. Wonderful. So we have six loops on the hook and we'll pull yarn through all loops on the hook and chain one. Now chain one and skip one stitch and we will repeat the bubble. Okay, look at this pattern. So we will continue till the end of the row and I'll meet you there. Okay, I have my row with bubbles almost done. Now I have four stitches left, so I will skip one and into the next one, into the third loop, I will crochet a bubble, a cluster of five double crochet stitches. One, two, now three. four and the last one okay we have five and now pull yarn through all loops and chain one then chain one again skip one stitch and there is the last stitch and I will place a one double crochet there. So I will finish my pattern with a double crochet and I also started the pattern with a double crochet. So at the beginning and at the end um, is uh, the double crochet. Now chain one and then your work. We will start the row number five and it will be row of single crochets. So I will place one single crochet into each stitch from the previous row. It means into each um, double crochet on the top of the bubble and into each chain. So now I will place a single crochet into the top of the bubble, into that chain and into the chain um, between the bubbles. Next uh, single crochet and again a single crochet place on the top of the bubble into that chain and next single crochet will be placed um, into the chain between the bubbles. Okay, look at the pattern. So I will move to the end working 65 single crochet stitches. So this is it. You can continue crocheting till the end of this row. And we will do this uh, pattern symmetric. So now we are in the middle of our work and then there will be a row of bubbles and then three rows of half double crochet stitches. So let me finish uh, this row with single crochet. I will place a single crochet on the top of the bubble and now uh, into the chain and the last single crochet will be placed into the third chain from the previous row, from the beginning from the previous row. Now I will chain three as uh, my first double crochet. I turn my work and as I said the row number six will be the row with bubbles again. So I will skip one stitch and into the next one I will make a bubble. Again it's uh, the cluster of five double crochet stitches 
and as you can see it's uh, on the top of uh, the bubble from the previous row okay so and now I will pull yarn through six loops on the hook chain one and again chain one skip one single crochet from the previous row and into the next one I will make a bubble so you see there is a bubble on the top of uh, the bubble from the previous row okay two three four and the last double crochet five now yarn over and pull yarn through all six loop on your hook and chain one to secure the bubble chain one skip one and into next stitch work a bubble a cluster of five double crochet stitches so you can continue uh, the same pattern till the end of uh, the sixth row okay I will finish the bubble pull yarn through loops on the hook chain one to secure and this is it chain one and I will skip one and make uh, the fourth bubble on the top on the fourth bubble from the previous row so look at the pattern and I will meet you at the end of this row and once I finish uh, that row with bubbles I will add three rows of half double crochet like that and uh, I will repeat that knit like effect okay so let's finish the row with bubbles I will place um, the bubble on the top of my last bubble from the previous row so one two and three four and five this is it and now pull yarn through all loops on the hook and chain one chain one skip one and place the last double crochet into the single crochet actually the last single crochet from the previous row so double crochet and this is it and I, uh, this uh, row is the last row with my shiny thread so we can cut this yarn and we will continue only with uh, the alpaca yarn so I chain two and I will continue um, I will turn my work and continue working one half double crochet into each stitch across so I will place one half double crochet on the chain into the chain on the top of uh, the bubble and also into the chain between the bubbles okay so now I will work a half double crochet on the top of the bubble and now into the chain between two bubbles Okay, one half double crochet into each stitch across so I will have in this row 65 half double crochet stitches So look at my pattern uh, I will add three rows of half double crochet okay look at it okay wonderful look at my work so I have uh, the seventh row almost done and I will add two more rows of half double crochets so I will finish that row 
So I will place a half double crochet into each stitch and this is my last one placed into the third chain from the beginning from the previous row now chain one then the work and I will make one half double crochet into each stitch across and each half double crochet will be placed into the third loop and as you know the third loop is behind the back loop we'll look at the pattern and this is the third loop okay and I will place there a one half double crochet and into next one half double crochet and I will continue till the end of this row okay so one half double crochet into each one half double crochet from the previous row okay I look at the pattern and uh, you can really clearly see uh, the V's which are which are pushed uh, to front okay so this is it so we have the second row of uh, this uh, this V's okay and we will add one more so you can continue till the end of uh, this row so one half double crochet place into the third loop and I repeat the pattern so one half double crochet into next stitch and one half double crochet into next so in this row you will have 65 half double crochet stitches and look at the pattern you can clearly see um, that the V's are not on the back side but they are pushed into the front Okay, love it, love it. It's, it's absolutely perfect. So this is it. I will add uh, one more row of double crochet. So chain one and I will tear my work. And again, we have to find the third loop to push the V's uh, to front. And now the third loop is uh, in front of my work. Okay, so I think you will find it easily look at my video so this is the third loop and I will place a half double crochet there okay, and this is the third loop okay you see the V and it's in front of the V okay one half double crochet into each stitch And find the third loop and place the half double crochet there and as always you will have 65 half double crochet stitches you see this is my back side and there are no um, V's visible they are pushed there into that side okay Perfect, so you can continue till the end of this row. I meet you there. I also like that side, it's uh, also very interesting. Um, this uh, the texture is uh, also very nice. So I finished that row, I will chain one and uh, I will add the last row which will be the row of single crochet stitches and again make sure this single crochet is placed into the third loop now the third loop is behind the back loop so I will again make um, this knit um, like effect as the V's are pushed to front okay look at it perfect so we have like three rows of uh, that uh, that V's one two three and uh, the last row of single crochets and we have one two three uh, at the beginning of uh, the pattern so I will finish uh, single crochets into each stitch across and uh, my headband is ready wonderful perfect so now we only need to join 
on the headband and make two X twist. So cut the yarn and leave the long tail there and prepare the yarn needle. Place your work uh, right side facing up and bring the ends of the headband together so half of uh, one end is against half of the other end and wrap each side around the other work of the headband. So now I have four edges lined up and I can use the long tail and uh, sew the four edges together. So I will wave yarn back and forth through all four loops, all four layers. Okay, look at it. Pull yarn through all four loops which are lined up and make it up. Okay, find all four loops and pull yarn through and now pull yarn through, uh, pull the needle um, down. Okay, this is it. Perfect. And you can continue sewing to the end. Just make sure you have four loops on the middle. Okay, this is it. One, two, three and four. And pull yarn through all four loops. And up and down. Okay. Four loops and pull yarn through all of them and then again and there will be only the last row. Okay. So pull the yarn through all of them. This is it. And now you can secure it um, several times. Just pull yarn through up and down several times and this is it. Okay. And this is it. Super. So look at the X twist, then your work and look at the right side. Okay, wonderful, love it, it's perfect. As we have uh, the sides lined up, uh, you can see the rows of V's are also lined. So we have three rows of V's and uh, they are perfectly continuing super it looks so complicated and it's uh, so easy <laughs> wonderful super one so what do you think do you like it as i do and i think my daughter she will love it yeah she will be so excited to wear it and this is it wow okay super and we can also uh, make a knot uh, you know there are two yarns two ends so I will make um, two or three knots for, to join them. Okay, so th the first um, end is from the beginning and the second one is from my last work. I cut both ends and this is it. Okay, super. So my headband is ready to wear. This lovely headband is made for my daughter, so it's teenage size, but you can very easily add uh, more chains at the beginning to make it bigger. 
So now let's look at the final measurement. The height is 10 centimeters, 4 inches high, and the length is uh, 22 centimeters, uh, which is 8.7 inches. And this is everything from my side, my crochet friends. I would like to thank you once again for your watching. I hope you like this video guide. And if you do so, please don't hesitate to give me your thumb up. And I will be so happy if you will join this YouTube group and subscribe my channel. I would also love to know your feedback. And if you will have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I really love that X twisted headband. Look at the front side and also love the back side. It's wonderful. You can wear it as a reversible headband. So happy crocheting, take care and bye for now.